This video will take you through the creation of solid element or solid mesh for a pipe geometry. Let's start. Pick on the new file creation. Import the CAD geometry. File Import Geometry. Browse for the geometry file of step format. Pick on Import. Look at the model in the shaded mode. Create a 2D elements on this face by using F12. Ensure that surface is now selected in the mesh window. Select on this face. Pick on mesh. Change the density to 6. For all edges. Pick on Mesh. Now the circular geometry is captured. Complete the meshing. Extend this 2D mesh using the solid elements till this linear path. Divide this solid element for that. Pick on 3D. Sorry, pick on geometry. Pick on solid edit. Trim the solid with a plane. Select the solid. About X axis. It can be trimmed. Or about Y axis. It can be trimmed. Let us use Y axis. Pick on the base node as this node. Pick on trim. This whole solid body is now splitted into two solids. The first solid and the second solid. Now create the solid map for this solid. Pick on the wireframe. Pick on 3D. Pick on solid map. Ensure that general is selected. The source geometry is none. Elements to drag is select the elements by putting the window. And the destination surface is the surface which is created by splitting the whole solid body about Y axis passing through this node. Use along geometry options as surfaces. Select the surfaces and pick on the outer cylindrical surfaces. Pick on 10 element size and mesh. The surfaces are not properly selected. Deselect them and select the surfaces again for along geometry. Now pick on mesh. There is a problem in along the geometry. Use 
the outer cylindrical surfaces and the inner cylindrical surfaces try to mesh now the solid elements are created in the model the solid elements now should continue about the cylindrical or curved surface here we had 2d elements and when we have dragged them they are dragged as a solid elements now to drag these elements till here we don't have the 2d elements on this face we need to extract the 2d elements from the 3d elements for that we need to find the faces pick on shift f8 ensure that components is selected pick on this solid map component that is the component in which all these solid elements are present now pick on find faces you can observe there are 2d elements created in red color around the solid elements pick on return now enter into the creation of the elements along this curved body we'll use spin option to spin we need to have one center point pick on f8 to create the center point at the center of a circle or an arc pick on this arc pick on create pick on return now pick on 3d and use the option spin select the elements pick on one of the 2d element from this face right click on the element pick on the selection of elements by the face means the elements lying on the face are now got selected this revolution should takes place along x axis that is this axis ensure that x axis is selected pick the base point and select this point enter the angle for the spin as 90 because these two faces are exactly at 90 degrees to each other let us have elements at each 10 degrees so enter the number of elements as 9 pick on spin you can observe the curvature elements are now captured pick on return now find the faces for this elements created for the curved geometry pick on shift f8 select this component to find the faces now drag these 2d elements on the face till this top face remember when we find the faces they are the 2d elements which are created around the solid elements pick on 3d use solid map ensure that general is selected under source geometry select none the elements to drag are the elements or the 2d elements on this face to select all the elements select one element at a time right click on elements and pick on by face 
Now ensure that all the elements got selected. Under destination geometry, select surface and pick on this surface. Under along geometries, pick on this outside cylinders or cylindrical surfaces. Pick on mesh. You can observe the mesh is now created. After the creation of 3D elements, clear the elements or the elements which are created by the find option that is shift F8. Pick on delete faces. Now the 2D elements which were formed around the 3D elements got removed. Now delete all the 2D elements which were create, created to create the solid mesh. Pick on F2. Read the command line delete entities. Ensure that the elements is selected. Pick on one of the 2D element. Right click on the elements. Pick on by face means the elements along that face will be selected. Pick on delete entity. Observe carefully that the element set 1, element set 2 and element set 3 are created in different different set. Hence there may exist a questionable connectivity between the nodes. To ensure the connectivity or the questionable connectivity, pick on Equivalence, Shift F3, select all the elements by putting the window, check for the connectivity within the tolerance of 0.5, pick on Preview Equivalence. It is been shown that zero nodes were found with a questionable connectivity. Increase the tolerance by 2. Then check for preview equivalence. Still there are no nodes which have the questionable connectivity. Now organize all these elements into one common component or a folder. Right click create component. Give the name of the component as solid elements. Choose the color for the elements. Pick on create. Now the solid elements is created and is currently active. Now organize all these elements into the respective folder. Pick on Shift F11. Organize Entities window is now open. Select Elements and pick on the elements by putting the window. These elements should move to the destination component that is solid elements. Pick on Move. Pick on Return. The color of elements is now changed to the color of solid elements component. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel below.